All right, guys, welcome to the Oz Mining YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to be opening up an RTX, a Gigabyte RTX 2060 Super. Uh, not many of these teardowns or how to open up uh, on the web, so I thought I'd just do a very simple um, sort of demonstration of the screws to remove and how to open it up uh, to have a look inside, give it a clean repaste the GPU or change the thermal pads. So yeah, so let's just take it away. So uh, basically the screws you'll need to do are on the back here, there's four around the GPU and there's two down here. And then you, you basically, there's two, if you can see in there, there's two kind of, uh, I guess, plastic kind of grommets that go into each other, which you then need to prise apart when you're taking the screws off. So. Let's uh, first do the screws. You can just use a basic small uh, crosshead or Phillips screwdriver, and basically you just remove these. They're not too tightly done, just for reference. They're they're kind of tight, but they're not like you know you really need to do a lot of force to open them up. Just for reference, when you're putting them back on. So we take those four screws off. It's good to just to have. Some little, um, there's not too many screws, it's not a crazy card, it's not like doing a, um, a fan's edition card or anything. So there's literally six screws here to open it up. There are another, I think, three screws inside if you want to remove the back plate. But that's basically the four screws, and we'll put them over there. Then there are two screws down here, which we'll take off. They're slightly small screws. Let's get them off. There we go. And that's basically those six screws will allow you to now open up the Gigabyte RTX 2060 Super. So, what you need to do then is it's a little bit of a prize open. So, there is two um, pieces here. So I might just zoom up a little bit. Let's just bring the camera up a little bit. And I'll just hold it here. So there's, there's two screws here. I mean two sort of grommets there, so you can see that's coming apart. And you just want to gently, you see it kind of move. You want to be careful. So you just want to gently There is the fan connector in there, which we'll take off once we get it a little bit more open. So you see as well that the um, the back plate is kind of loose now, but there are two screws which go through the other side of the back plate. So, so we'll just continue to sort of prise that open a little bit. And then they are. So you can see here, look, I've got down this end. I'd, so I'd, so I'd probably recommend, look, get down this end and just, you can start to see that slowly coming apart. Obviously there's, there's thermal pads in there as well, which are kind of on the GPU. And we can turn it around now. Just give it a little wiggle here in there. So, there we go. So it's it's a little bit of a once it pops, it pops. So we there you go. Just open that up. There we go. So that's kind of separated now. Great. And then what you see, as it's kind of a part now, you see it's sort of separated. But what we want to do now is just go up this end. Get these two plastic grommets so that you see here now. You can see it a bit clearer. Got these grommets in there, so we'll just get them apart. So now, now we're apart. We're sort of separated. The two pieces are separated. See the thermal, one of the thermal pads hanging there. So what we we'll do, look, we'll just lay it there, and we'll just pull out the 
just there now, if I just zoom in a little bit, you can just see we've got the um, connector for the fan. So we'll just wiggle that one out. It's just, it's really, it's just a gentle wiggle out. Hold it firmly in just very small wiggles. There you go, brilliant. There you go. Cool. So as you see there, we've now separated it. And we've got, you can see there, we've got the GPU in the middle. Um, thermal paste, look, it's looking pretty thin and a little bit squidged out on the edge. So there's not much thermal paste doing much cooling there. Um, we've got a few fat, uh, I think probably one mil thermal pads on this side. Um, thermal pad, if I, actually let me spin it around this way. So you see them, so you'll then see the thermal pad, um, actually so, let's do it that way. So yeah, the, the thermal pad there is obviously split a little bit. Um, probably when we opened it up, we then got the big long thermal pad. And let me, let me just put the camera down actually. You know, overall though, you can see that it's quite a simple um, opening. Like, I guess it's a little bit knack to it. There's six screws that would knack of it, but then you can see, yeah, we've got that thermal pad which is over that VRAM. We got the uh, thermal pad here, which is over that one, and this one down this end. And then we got some um, thermal pads which sort of go over this heat sink here as well. So, so yes, guys, I hope that was helpful. I'm gonna have a closer look. I'm definitely gonna be changing this um, thermal paste and I'm gonna be actually measuring up these uh, thermal pads now and ordering some online. So, but again, I'm gonna do a really big deep clean. I've got, I've got some uh, isopropyl alcohol and got some wipes. Um, and yeah, I've got some MX5 and some Noctua NTH2. Um, so yeah, so we'll get this GPU all cleaned up and back on the rig and hopefully uh, seeing some improved uh, thermals. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope that's useful. So just a very basic video. I haven't seen many of these of how to open up the RTX uh, 2060 Super. Um, and actually what I'll just show you as well before I go and if you want to take off the back plate But there's not really much behind the back plate. Maybe just for cleaning is there's just one two Three screws there you take them off and then the back plate will come off the main piece of the uh, card So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope that's useful and yeah, uh, please uh, provide any feedback comments um, down below and appreciate any subscribes uh, have a good day thanks for watching bye